In this video, we'll look at how to save a template for a figure or chart that you've prepared in Microsoft Excel. So we're going to plot a spectrum here, a UV Viz spectrum. Uh, so here's some data that I collected with the spectrophotometer. Uh, notice I already saved this as an Excel file and made a copy of it so that I'm not working from my original data. Some versions of Excel will let you select the two columns. Some of them require that you select only the data. Uh, I'm going to select the two columns because that's an option for me. And I'm going to plot this as a scatter plot with smooth lines because we have enough data to deal with smooth lines here, meaning that we're not worried about missing data points here. Now, this default formatting is, is not really good, so we have to go through and change all the things we don't like about it. So one of the things we don't like about it is we don't like the, the grid lines. That's really not appropriate. We also don't like the title over here. Titles aren't good. We're only going to have a caption. We'll put the caption in Word afterwards. Also, you'll notice here that the range is from 0 to 900 nanometers. We only care about, let's say, the UV region. So... We can go here and change the region. So double click on the axis brings up the formatting axis. And so here is a lot of things we can do to change it. So we'll go and we're going to change the axis options and we'll change it from 200 to let's say 400. We can do the same thing with the Y axis. I'm going to add tick marks so that we can see where these numbers actually correspond. Uh, so here we have the tick marks that just showed up over here. Uh, by each of these numbers over there. All right, so there's a number of other things we can do to make this uh, a little bit better. We should add uh, axis labels. So we'll go to format here, um, chart design, add chart elements. So you can put an axis title. So format this horizontal axis over here. Maybe this is wavelength. We can also change the font size and other things. So we can make it bold, not bold. We can make it size 12 font, size 14 font. There's a lot of things we can do to make this a, a lot nicer looking. In fact, what I've already done is I've already prepared a chart over here that has most of the things that I prefer to have in it. So I put uh, labels on, on both of the axes. I put tick marks. I set the, uh, the axis uh, limits to reasonable limits, so 200 to 400 nanometers is the UV region of the spectrum, uh, 0 to, you know, 1, 1.5 one absorbance units, depending on what you're looking at, might be reasonable. And uh, I, I like this. In fact, I like this chart format quite a bit. And so what I'll do is I'll go here, right-click on the chart, and I'm going to save as template. And so I might call this Spectrum UV. And now I have a UV-Viz Spectrum template. And so when I come back here, I can right click here, go to change chart type, and go down to templates, spectrum UV, and we've already done most of the changes that I would have preferred. In fact, just to show us that we can do it, if we go here, we insert our chart type, again, really bad formatting that we don't like, right click, change chart type, template, spectrum UV, and already a lot of the changes that we prefer have been made. So we don't have to do this time and time again. Also, it's useful to move this chart. Right-click on the whole chart area. Move chart. And instead of being an object in this spreadsheet, I can make it a new sheet and call this Spectrum 1. And we have it here, and you can copy and paste straight from here into Microsoft Word, and you can make this look exactly how you would like it uh, before you do that.